Uh, my husband and I went to um, the Huddle House in Nahana, Georgia. Um, on Sunday, we were going to grab a bite to eat. So we went in, we pulled into the parking lot. Um, all the employees were outside. Um, there was nobody else in the parking lot, but they were all outside. There was one car in the parking lot. One of the employees was sitting in the car. A couple others were gathered around the car. So we go on inside and we sit down. Of course, the employees follow us in, or one of them does, our waitress. Um, she comes in. She asks us what we want. We order our drinks. My husband orders a sweet tea, and I order a Dr. Pepper. Um, she advises that the sweet tea is fresh, um, so when he gets it, it's a little warm. We go ahead and we order our food. He asks for a glass of, of ice. Um, took her a few minutes, you know, after we placed our food order. Um, she says, well, my cook had to, to, to run somewhere, but I'm going to wing this for y'all and make this food the best I can. We thought that was kind of odd, so we were just okay, you know. Um, so anyway, he asked for the ice. She goes and gets the ice. A few minutes later, comes back with the ice and sits the cup down. So she's still standing there talking to us. We're talking about, um, you know, just, I don't know, life in general, food or whatever. And all of a sudden, my husband picks up the cup to go and pour the ice inside his uh, sweet tea. But when he does, something catches my eye. Um, I, what I thought was a hair, because all I could see was just like the, you know, the tentacle of the bug. I turn it around and I show it to her and she freaks slap out on me. Well, then she takes the cup and behind the counter and freaks out behind the lady behind the counter. I guess at this point, this is her cook because she now says that the cook has returned. While she's up there talking to the cook, she's looking and talking about how gross and disgusting this is. And she's holding the cup up, how gross and disgusting this is. And as she turns around to take a second look is when I realize that it is a roach because it crawled through the cup. And that's when I just started pushing my husband, go, go, get out of here, it's a roach, it's a roach. And then the lady comes back to the count, to the starts meeting and said they're ready. And my husband's just like, you know what, you can cancel everything, we're out of here, we're gone, we're <laughs> see ya. So, you know, we're pissed off at this point and it's just like gross, cancel everything. Um, and so I p made the post on Facebook, the more I thought about it, the matter I got. So I posted on Facebook and when I did, the manager of that huddle house um, is also a school bus driver here in the county. Mm -hmm. um, and she reached out to me on Facebook and sent me those messages apologizing for the mishap and that a baby carriage brought all these roaches in there. Well, I can't see, first of all, a parent, unless you are just really crappy, letting 20, 30 roaches come crawling out of your baby's, you know, car seat. Um, but that's what she said happened um, in these messages, as you see, as I sent them to you. Um, and she also advised that she's been on with the bug man, this and that and the other. But here's our thing, is we had done drank about half of these drinks that she got this ice out of. And then she goes and gets us a cup of ice out of the ice bin with a roach in the ice. So that was disgusting.